Hematoid ferruginous hematite included quartz. This guy has been sawn to stand flat like this, so let's have a look. If it lies just flat without a stand, we'd have this effect. Lovely phantoming in here, of course, the red ferruginous uh, hemato uh, hematoid hematite included quartz. Uh, ferruginous inclusions in this one patterning little phantoms red phantoms inside the quartz crystals sitting on top of that is most likely some calcium carbonate um, uh, look at that look at that I'll just give you a let's see how close we can get on this one quite quite lovely I think there may be a little uh, is that contact there may be a little scratch on that edge on that top edge or maybe it's crystalline, maybe two crystal heads going into each other. If you have questions, ask me over the eBay system. Um, I, I do my videos before I do my IDs. So uh, the IDs I give while I do my videos are purely from, on a, from a visual point of view. You'll see there's often a discrepancy. Um, so when I see closer, then I, I can rectify. Um, also quite interesting, you have a generation of uh, quartz with a uh, hematite uh, forming across it, which has lost some of its oxygen, turns into girthite or your old ochre. And then you have a second generation of quartz coming over this, a second silica flow, crystallizing, uh, causing the phantom. And in the secondary flow, you actually find little black flakes, which would be tiny blades of specular hematite you'll see there for instance inside the crystals you can actually zoom into the still pictures on the uh, ebay listing and uh, seems to be a slight touch of amethyst in here as well maybe over there slight slight amethyst